Hi everyone, Rad Drew here. Uh, I'm in Bellbrook, Ohio. It's right outside of Dayton. And I'm here visiting my good friend and photographer, uh, Bill Woody. And I'm visiting the gallery that he's a part of. Um, it's the, uh, let me see here if I can close to it. Uh, it's the Sugar Creek Photography Gallery. And this gallery, um, it's, uh, it's all photography. And um, I'm not sure I need to find out how many different artists they have here. It is actually quite spectacular. I've, I've not seen such a good collection of photography in one place in a long time. Um, let's just walk inside and take a look here. I want to show you the gallery. So here we are as we enter in it. Um, first of all, right here, this is their guest wall. Uh, and they have different artists appearing here uh, each month. I'm going to be here in July with an exhibit on the guest wall. Um, and then um, as we go through here, you can see these are some of the, the images. Everything in here is of just incredible quality. It's a wide variety of work and a lot of different styles, but the photography itself is all um, exceptional. Um, we've got landscape photography, um, cityscapes, uh, portraits, a whole, whole variety of different things. Um, and just kind of come over here. There's a whole assortment of different uh, cards and things that the different photographers um, have provided here. Here's just an example of, of some of the work here um, that's exhibited here in the gallery. Um, I'll, I'll introduce you to Bill here in a minute. And uh, I just wanted to show you some of this work. I mean, it's truly all quite uh, exquisite work um, and just a lot of it. Um, here are some, uh, uh, this is the work of, of uh, uh, my, my friend Judd Plattenberg, who has made photographs uh, in Cuba. Um, these are some of his, his photographs from there on recent trips. Uh, we've traveled there together a couple times over the past couple of years um, and just really you can see just some exquisite, exquisite work. Um, <clears throat> over here we have the work of uh, other artists. This is Jeffrey Smith, some of his landscape work. Really beautiful. Um, you can see some of these. I just wanted you to see this. Like I said, I've, I, it's been a long time since I've seen so many different styles of photography of such high quality <clears throat> all in, in one place. Um, this is some of the light painting work uh, done by um, Bob Hawkins. I mean, look at this stuff. I mean, look at this. this is just a beautiful uh, exhibit of work. Um, a lot of this is printed on uh, metal. Um, beautiful compositions and the light painting in here, if you look closely at this, he's actually gone through with a pen light and traced the edge of the shoes in order to get that highlight um, on the shoes. It's multiple exposures with the lighting uh, different on each exposure and, and then blend it together uh, in, uh, in Photoshop. Really beautiful work, wonderful still lives. I mean, it's just some of the uh, really creative and beautifully executed, technically uh, accomplished work. This is um, uh, Barbara Rose. My understanding, I don't know Barbara, but my understanding is that she just began photography uh, during the pandemic. And so many of her photographs, um, she's taught herself photography and she's done a wonderful job. She does a lot of composites, uh, combining images, uh, some beautiful work. Um, and this is the work of my friend, Beth Larson. Um, Beth uh, has took a class in um, uh, light painting again um, and she's taken he said those are her uh, I believe she said her, her either her aunts or her grandmother's thimbles and created that painting these are her father's boots um, just beautiful beautiful work um, several of the aurora borealis um, and just really wonderful just so much here. Um, here's some more work of uh, Judd Plattenberg, some of his <clears throat> photos from Cuba uh, on various trips, some of which uh, we, we photograph dancers. Uh, he's done a wonderful job with his images there. Um, there's one from atop the uh, uh, Alicia Alonzo Grand Ballroom in uh, Havana. 
uh, in a coffee plantation outside of Havana. Just beautiful work. Um, and uh, this is one here, um, not far from uh, where we are here in Dayton. Just beautiful work printed on metal. Uh, another one of uh, the dunes. Um, this is out in, um, I forgot where he told me this was, New Mexico. Um, and it's printed on, uh, on metal, beautiful presentation. Um, and just wonderful work. Um, as we get over here, um, well, these are still some of Judd's images here. Uh, some very creative com uh, composites um, by uh, Susan Villain. I don't know her, but uh, again, very creative. Here's a little uh, tiny planet uh, kind of photograph. That's the, uh, the Dayton uh, cityscape here with the, uh, uh, the jets from the Air Force Base here. And just a few other things here. Again, um, over here in the corner, there's we have my friend Bill and, uh, and Bob. Um, how, how many artists do you have here in the gallery? How many artists do you have presenting we here? Have Twelve. Twelve different artists. So, and how how many feet do you have? How, how big is the space? Oh, I don't know. It's about 160 So it's it's a it's a big space. It's a big space. <laughs> um, so these are uh, these are some of Bill's photographs here that are on this wall. Um, again, some of these are printed on a uh, metal and. Uh, a sepia tone, really, really beautiful images. These are out um, uh, in, is that Montana? Yeah, that's South Dakota. Oh, South Dakota. Oh, that, that one's South Montana. Dakota. That one's Montana, yeah. Um, these are some of the, he photographs up at the uh, Silo City, uh, dancers in Silo City, some really beautiful work there. Here's one of my favorites right here. Um, the juxtaposition of the, the dancer against all the industrial metal is really cool. Uh, this was in Cuba. This is the Alicia Alonso Grand Ballroom um, on one of our trips to Cuba a couple years ago. Um, here's another magnificent photo that he made. This is at the ballet school. Um, we had a number of dancers come out and give us a little show, and Bill caught this leap. <laughs> this guy's like flying. Uh, some more from the uh, Silo City. And another one from Havana, beautiful treatment. Um, another one here from Silo City, beautiful dancers. It's one of the things Bill photographs a lot, uh, are these beautiful dancers. Um, so are the, these are still yours over here too, Bill, all yes, of this whole, this whole wall. Um, and you shoot a lot in um, the Smoky Mountains. Beautiful photograph here, Cades Cove. And where is this? This is on the, a ranch in Montana. Okay. Oh, and this one I recognize. This is out in Palouse. Yeah. I'm kind of hard to mistake that for any place else in the world. That's true. And this is uh, Moamami on uh, Malachi, the island of Malachi. Those are those are the highest cliffs, sea cliffs in the world. In the world. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful place. This is one of them, one that really captured my imagination here of these tracks. Bill, tell me, tell me about this. You said that this, these tracks are no, these rails are are gone now. Well, there's probably two two sets of rails that go through there now, maybe three, uh, two, four, say. There were ten sets of rails at this time, or nine. This is in Bluefield, West Virginia. The town is on both sides of the track. Wow. Up the hillside. And there are no crossings over the tracks. There's bridges. So really? if you go out on the bridge, you can shoot down on all these rails. Well, you could. This is about uh, 1995. To get those early morning, early morning to get the reflections. 30 in the morning in July. Yeah. And it's really haze, not fog. Uh -huh. and it was a really hot July. Uh, so it looks like yeah. a foggy morning, and it isn't quite really. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. The I love it. Lines are part of the secrets. 
and the fact that yeah. And this is the abandoned. This uh, is the Bodhi ghost town. Ghost town. Between uh, Yosemite and and uh, Reno, I guess. <laughs> it's just a beautiful place with wonderful brown buildings. It's a state park in California, and I have a friend who had two daughters who lived nearby. She grew up in our neighborhood in Dayton. I called her and said, hey, you want to go to Bodie Ghost Town and shoot some pictures? And she said, well, I'll have to bring my daughters. <laughs> I said, okay. And uh, the grandmother of these girls was a neighbor of ours once upon a time. And she made these little house in a prairie, her words, dresses for the girls. Oh, and perfect. So, uh, we just shot some of these pictures. I went in early in the morning. This was photographer's day. I'll just tell the story. You could clip this out. Okay. Uh, you know, I paid $50 and there were me and 10 other photographers. I went out and picked up uh, the mom and the two little girls and the mom's sister-in-law. We got back in there. It was us and 500 of our best friends. After Labor Day, three and a half hours from anywhere, and there's 500 people in this town, uh, three or four full-size touring buses and oh yeah uh, it, it was a tough shoot i think this picture came from three negatives wow somebody walked out <laughs> of the church uh, somebody walked in from the side you know it was so you just had to, it was timing to was all catch time. it without yeah. somebody else in it um and these these are all just i love this one i've, I've mentioned earlier this is reminiscent of andrew wyeth to me um really like what you've done with that More models and some of these very you know, just quiet moments. Yeah, I like the the effects you've added to that, the softness, almost that Orton effect yeah. kind of thing, and the color the coloring. You said you, these were actual uh, Marshall oil paints. Well, they're actually watercolors. Watercolors. Mixed some watercolors. Okay. Photographs okay. Nineteen oh five. Okay. All of these are. Colored, uh, mm -hmm. hand colored, uh, silver gelatin prints. Yeah. Oh, really beautiful. Um, here's another one of the hand colored images. Did you get this? I, I haven't gone over here. Let's. So this is um, this is Bill Bill Welch and Maddie Welch's work. Marty. Yeah. Marty. I'm sorry, Marty. I just met Bill and Marty today. Uh, eagles from Alaska. Uh, West Virginia, I think. And I think they both shoot with Canon equipment, if I remember what, what he was telling me. Beautiful work in the Sierras. <laughs> That's great. And these are just exquisite. Um, this is one of my favorites here of uh, uh, Marty's. Is this one here of the uh, the dory in the rain? Um, just trying to read what this is. Um, oh, this is in Seldovia, Alaska. I mean, look at that. It's just beautiful, beautiful reflection. Um, and you can see she got the had to get her shutter speed just right to get those raindrops leaving those rings in the surface really beautiful work uh, aurora borealis they lit up the house for them underneath the the sky really beautiful work this is my friend bill here i just wanted to introduce everyone uh, we've traveled quite a bit together over the years and uh uh, he's a remarkable photographer, and um, we've had a great day today just kind of solving the problems of the world and talking photography. And uh, I'm going to be coming out here um, in July uh, to hang a body of work and uh, to do a workshop of some kind. We haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do, but we'll be talking about iPhone photography and some of that. So, Bill, thanks for uh, 
taking some time to show me the studio. I'm really excited to come back out in July. If you ever get a chance to get out here and check it out, I'll, I'll be letting you know when I'll be here. And um, But if you're ever in the area, come by and see the work here. It's really exquisite. Uh, a lot of different varieties and some just excellent execution uh, of work. So um, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you later.